Well, hello, this is Peter, aka Fathom on Twitter, and I'm going to give you a little instructional video on how to actually remove a dishwasher, and eventually you can install one on your own. This one started making a burning smell. It's about 17 years old, and I'm just going to get to the point and show you how to easily remove it. First thing you want to do is turn off the water. You're going to go underneath your sink. And as you can see, my messy area here. Depending on how you have it, you'll either have a separate water for the dishwasher and you have another hose. That's the waste water going over here. You want to make sure to turn that all the way to the right to turn it off. So, as shown here, go in and twist it till it's completely off. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. remember that. Next, these dishwashers are going to have screws on the top for bracketing, or bracketing it inside. All you do is you open it up and look underneath. As you can see over here, there are two sets of screws. I already removed them. When you do that, it will wiggle. You can slide it out a little. This dishwasher in particular is four sets of bracket screws. As you can see over here, there's one over here, and there is actually one over here. The face plate here is two pieces. It actually connects the bottom piece like this, and then the top piece. Connects like two pieces like this. Connects like two pieces like this, okay? And what you're going to do is you unscrew the first top bracket screws over here, then the bottom one. Once you get the bottom one, this comes off here, and the bottom one comes off here. The next thing you want to make sure is you want a pair of gloves. You want to turn off the power to this. Easy way to tell if the power is off. If you try to use it and it makes noise. So I have it on the off position. You want to make sure the sucker is not on. Turn off your electricity, whatever's connected to it. Test things around it. You can do some, use your own tools and whatnot to test it. So I'm going to be testing it, of course, as well. Make sure I don't kill myself with the electricity. This thing is filthy. It's old. This is how we got it when we moved in here. Never really used it. When we tried using it, it smelled. And today it started making burning smells just by after I was trying to do a rinse cycle to just clean the thing. Now we're going to get to what needs to be disconnected here in a moment. As you can see over there, you're going to need a vice grip pliers or adjustable pliers. That is the water line. You're going to put a towel underneath there to make sure you disconnect that. But first you want to disconnect the any electricity to make sure you do not electrocute yourself. All right, so I'm going to unscrew this bracket first. This may actually be plug-in, which means it might just plug in right into the back of a power outlet possibly behind this unit. So I'm going to carefully remove this water. There we go. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Alright, I used a little Ziploc bag and put a rubber band on it just to prevent... There's a little water left in there, I just don't want it to leak all over the floor. So let's pull this thing and see what happens. <sighs> All right, lock it back into place. Pull it back gently, gently, gently. Still gonna be a water waste hose. All right, let's see, how's this wired? This is wired with a real physical cable. So I'm gonna have to turn off electricity and of course disconnect the waste cable as well. So you can clearly see that hardwired electricity and waste line going to underneath the sink. So 
Yeah, I'll get that. It's like that electrical line leads to this electrical box over As here. You can see, see, there's a warning label. Most likely you have to take that bolt off and carefully disconnect a few things. I'm going to make sure, double check that I have the power off before I do this. Well, here was some good news with this model. This one over here, all I had to do was un untie these pieces here while the power was off and then cap each one. You can use electrical tape as well. And I just unbolted this and removed it from there. It's a hard wire. Sadly, I want to put a refrigerator over here, but I can't unless I maybe convert it. Maybe. Focus doesn't want to work well, but yeah, that's what I have to do. Now I've got to disconnect the waste hose. So for me, I tilted the dishwasher open since it's already empty. There's no water. What you have to do is remove this clip over here. This is rusty as hell. And pop it off. Pretty much you pinch it. Let me wear a glove really quick. So here's a little pro tip. You have a hard time removing this thing. Get a vice grip, put it right in there, and pinch that sucker. It'll slide right out. And then you just get that waist toes out. And voila, that's done. It's got some water in there. You just shake it upward. I'll clean this area. This place is a freaking mess. There's cracks and other stuff. Now you get to see the underbelly of the sucker. The motor. Pump everything. So yeah. Now all you gotta do is take this video, do it in reverse, and you'll have yourself a nice dishwasher installed. Good luck, and if you have any questions or feedback, leave them below. Thanks for watching.